I want to talk to you about stress today. One definition of stress is a physical, chemical, or emotional factor that causes bodily or mental tension and may be a factor in disease. A synonym for stress is tension or pressure or strain. When a real or perceived threat is detected by the body, the adrenal gland releases a hormone called cortisol into the blood, and that gets us ready to fight or flight. If that threat is a lion, tiger, or bear that's chasing us, the cortisol gives us previously unknown speed for our flight. If the threat is a locker room argument, the cortisol may give us strength for the fight. In immediate needs, cortisol is a good thing. It's actually called the stress hormone because it increases our blood sugar and our energy for rapid action. It also increases our strength and speed. It decreases our awareness of pain. It aids in metabolism, and it gives us increased mental focus. Besides dealing with immediate danger, it's helpful in coping with the short-term demands such as sports competition, work deadlines, even that dreaded public speech that we have to give. When, once the stress is, is gone, then the cortisol is, is uh, stopped and our systems return to normal. The problems occur when stress is not temporary, when it's constant or chronic, with conditions like employment, financial or marital problems, death of a loved one, disability or illness, or just living in an increasingly complex and demanding world. These are long-term issues and the cortisol fight or flight mechanism starts to degrade the functions and systems of the body. It can cause things like suppressing our immune system or lowering our thyroid function. It can slow our healing process. It increases blood pressure and cardiovascular disease. It increases the loss of bone density and actually causes muscle wasting. And it increases our appetite, so we have obesity, abdominal fat, and even diabetes. It can initiate depression and actually increase the tendency towards Alzheimer's disease. Of course, each of us are hardwired differently, so the symptoms and the degree vary from one individual to another. What if I were to tell you that there is a surefire way to eliminate stress from your life forever? Well, I'm sorry, that's not going to happen. But some people do try to do it with alcohol and drugs, and that just creates tragically more problems. So what's a body to do? How do we deal with that constant increase in tension, pressure, and strain that now is a part of our life? Remember that cortisol is a fight or flight system, and so that's exactly what you should do, fight or flight. But I'm talking about fighting with a set of weights or a yoga mat at the gym, or flight on a treadmill or an exercise cycle. You see, exercise burns off cortisol and then mellows us out with those feel-good endorphins. By the way, romantic intimacy does much of the same thing. Many relaxation techniques or methods are very effective in reversing the strain and pressure that is part of our life. A good massage, a sauna, a hot tub actually drains tension. Meditation or breathing techniques help to decompress us. Some people say that they enjoy and get benefit from journaling. The most effective way I've found to un unwind is through music. I'm talking soothing and calming music, and I don't mean heavy metal or gangster rap. Nutritionally, a sensible, natural, balanced diet with smaller portions eaten more often with food-based supplements for our vitamins and minerals. As a well-known female talk show host always says, now go out and take on the day. <laughs>